Santa. I can't say that I've ever seen a rusty, crusty mold. So we're at Chris I this morning after an all day long auction on a Saturday. We hopped over or Chris drive to Allegan. We have never done the Allegan Antique Flea Market. It's an hour and 40 some minutes to almost two hours away. And it's the last Sunday of the month. So since it's not raining, you know, weather's unpredictable. Um, he was so kind to, to drive me up here so we, we can check it out. So we're waiting in line. I don't know if they're checking people in or they don't let people in before the eight o'clock opening because we're probably 20 cars in and we're it's- We're 0.3 miles from the entrance. <laughs> yeah, so it's 7.45. So maybe, maybe that's, I don't know. Or it takes that long to check people in. I don't know. So stay tuned to see what we see. We'll share with you anything we find interesting. And of course we'll share a haul afterwards, you know. And if you're new to the channel, we are resellers. We sell at a local antique mall, Hog Creek Antique Mall in Allen, Michigan. And then we also sell on eBay. And then I'm always looking for things to make over on the Ginger Chick Rehab channel. Any items that I feel like, you know, if we painted this, if we fixed it, or if I could put these things together to make beautiful home decor, I love to share that with you too. Okay, we made it. So now we're going to go ahead and start looking away. And I'll just show you things that we are interested in i guess Let's see what's in there salt pepper shakers just make sure there's no marshmallow tins oh that's a big scale that's, that's huge big scale oh it is two-sided oh that's neat that's interesting that's a little <laughs> water free <laughs> <laughs> That's a big piece of candy. Holy cow, oh, yes. Okay. I like the candy, but I'm not sure I want to spend $15 for my first purchase yet, though. So. Oh, those are cool. Oh, look at you. How much is he, Chris? $35. Oh, he is metal. He has a heavy metal, but he is metal. Yeah. This guy is, he's 35. He's fun. Which are these salvaged corpses? Not in the best shape. Kind of hard to display other than that way. <laughs> he's kind of different, but he's kind of neat too. Got a string of room. Aw, he's 20. That scale's good for 20 though. Oh, that's a neat hand. How much is the hand? Twenty-five. Oh, it's a new. It's newer. It's a newer, newer piece. Ooh, this one's kind of creepy. Oh, creepy. Oh, now they're all gonna fall down. Thank you so much. This is crusty, crusty stuff. I have to stop the cat, the horse, the chicken. Must be part of a weather vane. <laughs> Little pig planter for twelve. So I saw the uh, Easter and I thought, oh my possible. gosh, I'm gonna look around for Easter. But he's okay. like the killer um, Easter. And then, <laughs> Funny, um, he's more Halloween I do than Easter. Of the Saint Joe and I do uh, this 15, and I do this. So. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, he was giving cute. us a flyer at one time, and then yeah. we lost it, and we were like, oh, oh no, that's fine. Well, it's probably, it's probably, probably we'll get some eyelashes on him. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and see the kitty. Hi, Kiki. He's cute. 16 on the bird. We've had those. Happy bunny. Shaker. Let's see how much. Probably 50, 60, 30. Those are amazing. I would sell them separately. That is huge. 
huge. I don't see a price on that. You know what that is? Isn't it a hat form? Yeah, it is. It's huge. It's a hat form. Hat form. It's you. I don't see a price on it though. So we, I made a first purchase. The, the hat form and the brass keys, forty dollars. I didn't think that was bad. I would actually sell the keys separately because I think each one of them are pretty cool. And then, like, fifteen bucks on that hat form. Alrighty then. Check out the green scale. No, no price. I guess it's make offers. I don't know. No, that handsome one is nice. Uh, that's big though. People yeah. usually want the smaller ones. I like ones. the face on it. Yeah. How much are your scales? Um, 45, 35, and 20. Okay. Okay. Let's check out Halloween. See if there's any smalls in Halloween. Oh, kind of big. Just got the box of terracotta at the auction, so I I'm, should be good for a few days. Oh, they are rusty, crusty. How much are they? I'm so busy looking at the. Four dollars. Four dollars. At least the butterfly. Want to grab the butterfly? Cause he can go in my garden. I know. Those are, have long spigots. That's nice. It's a new purchase good, but ninety. Some windmill parts. Windmill parts? I like the star on it. Did you see the fans for the windmill? Is that what it is? It's just yeah. one of the blades, right? No, it's the back tail. Oh, the back tail. Yes. There you go. I, I noticed a mushroom. A little mouse and a mushroom. Oh my gosh. He's cute. He's resin. He is, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how much he is. Ooh. Oh, that looks like iron stone. It's Homer Glothlin, he's an older piece. 30, 38. 38 in that one. 68 on that. 68. A little wonky. They're old. I'd be a little wonky too. Those are cute little tin pieces. Let's see if I can find multiple, see if she'll make me an offer. This is cool. We will find out. Oh. Oh, man, that is a good one. Yeah. Okay. Yes, thank you. The pig wearing can is 28. This green piece is amazing. I don't see a price on it, though. Yeah. Bobby's. Hi. It's a fun color. Oh. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Piece. How much do they have in that? Six. So if you cut that bottom part off, it will sit. It's a fun green color. Those are huge. Where would I put them? <laughs> There's two. There's two of them. Three ninety-five. I don't have to worry about where I'm going to put them, but they're pretty cool. There's a go-kart that we'll never pick up again because it took forever to sell, sell and we had to give it away. So, there's that. Live, you, you just live and learn. Beautiful, primitive. Pi safe. 325 on that piece. Okay, checking out the beautiful school cabinets. Oh my goodness. I have a collection of That one is awesome. <laughs> he is beautiful though, y'all. Beautiful. So is this one. Actually like the perfect being perfect of it all. Oh my gosh. Fun. These are fun though. Here to look for something vintage and unusual. Five cents. I think I might do that. Iron Stone, how are you in there? What is this one? JP Combs, six cord, 65. Um, just some Iron Stone inserts. This would go into a butter. Two piece butter. Some beautiful. Now remember, I'm looking for the one with an animal on it. How much of their mixer? Never pass up one of those again. Two twenty-five. Yeah. Another one. That's beautiful. 
beautiful. Cute little books, 45 a piece for those. Mine was not an ashtray, mine was a um, inkwell though. So this one is 69. Hope I find something on this table, five dollars. Will I find something though? Chris found a tire ashtray. Okay, nothing on that, of course. Little bendy guys. Ten dollars on that. It's beautiful. You see why we're attracted to those? Beautiful. Hold on. Turn the hole. There you go. One seventy-five. It is heavy. I don't think it's stone. So what is it about old price signs that I'm like, yeah, I like that. Six dollars. Now I've been looking for a white owl cigarette. Like the cardboard one. I'm not sure about the. Bit of that lid. Yeah, well, I can make it into decor. Well, but I'm not good. sure it's six. But I, I don't know because the, the cardboard one doesn't have the owl on a cigar. So I might just pass that one up right now. I'll probably regret it. I think this is the same couple I bought other Jade I from. So this is. Up. Got a little bowl. They do kind of nest in each other. The blue stuff. I don't need any more. 42.32. Smart to have your glowy glass displayed, displayed like that with a black light. 95. 75. And 55. Just the insert. I think it's missing its around. Look at that cubby. 400 on this beautiful cubby. Beautiful. Beautiful cubby. Cool. Little stool piece. 49. How much is he? 79 on that old horse. The tea box is cute. I don't see the price right up hand. Decoy. These are real old cutting boards. I wouldn't make checkerboards out of that. 75 on that one. That one's not marked. That one's like 35. Thank you. You're welcome. 65. Do I have a price on that one or not? Yeah. Huh? It's 65. It's in there. Okay. Look at these little stacks. Type of butter pad. Probably maybe it's the whole set. I'm not sure. Can't come back here. Let's check him out. Oh, he's a little worse for wear. <laughs> he's very. He's missing his beard. He ain't done. Don't got no beard. Chris, Chris already said uh oh to this booth. So we'll see what the prices are though. Oh, this is a cute little. Ninety-five on the ham. Ellie Smith. Pedestal blue, 270, and this big bottom, oh, beautiful, 280, beautiful pieces. Look at this Blanco, $40 pedestal, beautiful, and then another Aunt Marina for 48 oh gosh, beautiful pieces. 125 <laughs> remember we're at a antique show. It's a beautiful one. Boy, 
right? Yeah. Turtle. Oh yeah. He's 50. So not reselling prices here, just collector's prices. Oh beautiful single slide. 85 on this beauty. Oh, and probably 85 on this pair. Yeah. 75 on the other one. Oh, we'd last over here. 18. I have a whole bunch of these right now, so I'm going to stay away from them. But looking at some of the glowy glass. 75, 75, 25. Here, 39. This is Jadeite lids. 15. Just the lids. This little picture set. That's very cute. Some of glowy. I just bought this one yesterday. The day before I bought that one. So it's going to be beautiful. on these. So pretty. Oh, 15. Half the less I was collecting. I don't know. This guy is three. Five. Not a bad price. Yeah. I wonder if he was McCoy or Yeah, yeah. I can get away with a lot. That's pretty. With the, I'm not sure how much it shines, but happy child. Yeah. He is a motor holder. He's pretty though. That Spider. It's a huge metal spider for one twenty-five. It's awesome. Oh my gosh! This whoever this artist is, Paul. Oh my gosh! It is beautiful. It's, I love the stripes of it. This dish. Oh my gosh! Beautiful. Cool molds back here. Two twenty-five. One hundred. Okay, that would be a pass. He is on this. He's what is he? Oh, he's like plastic foam. Plastic foam. So I wanna. We'll look at the glowy glass. I don't see any talls. These are beautiful though. I like him. He's pretty cool. 35. There's a creamy marshmallow box. Very cool. The little key cats. 27 on both of them. Oh, piece, yep. Yeah. Frog. You know, I like those frogs. Oh, he's a, he's a McCoy, 45. How much on these little books? 30. That's a cool piece. Cobalt blue. Horsey. Yes, very cool. Those are neat. That's a neat shape. It has a date or something on it. Vintage light covers. 58. Cats, 285 on these metal. Cat Sexton? Oh my gosh, those are amazing. These little light up jack lanterns, vintage in the box. 35. Santa's boots. <laughs> those are cute, $8 for those. Oh my gosh, those are cute. Oh, 
32. So, so far, you just get to look at the pretties. I just took one of those, put it in my display. Oh, hi. Is that connected? I just love old pieces of wood. 22. That's kind of like the green one we have, isn't it? Look at that beautiful oh, cubby. You got a pile of money. Look at your. Oh, he's pretty cool. Oh, it's gonna get hot, isn't it? Please cheer up. Stone pieces. Just looking at these, I thought these were interesting that they were wooden. Yes. I guess you're not going to use them for liquid. <laughs> but not for long time. No, very neat. Oh, it's metal. Fifteen on that. Chris want to let me keep the cross? I don't think he's going to let me keep <laughs> I don't know. They have this order in here. Oh, interesting. We didn't really know what this order went to. Mushroom set. Look at that mushroom set. It's beautiful. 75 on all 11 pieces. It doesn't actually seem that bad. Oh my gosh. That does not seem bad. I don't know if anybody would buy this piece because it's huge, but these smaller pieces are amazing. Look at it, it even has the spoon. Oh my goodness, that's been repaired. But, oh my gosh, that's cool. That is way cool. That's neat, only 23. That's a pretty cool piece. I think it's plastic, right? I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. That's a fun piece. So, Thank you so much for this. I think he's a bottle opener. Our yeah. He's cool. Cool to look at. He's 28 though, so we have to pass on him, but he's cool. Skateboards I picked up. 65? That's a Budweiser one. What did they have on that? Don't you know? Little Mexican pottery. Little owl. He's very cool. 58 on the scale. This one, that one's beautiful. Green. Oh, a little bit of wear, but it's pretty cool. Let's see a price on it though. It's very pretty. 95 and that one is being covered. I like the shape of it. Is that covered? Oh, beautiful. Painted pumpkin is slightly damaged. can't find a price. <laughs> My hero comes in, I don't know. Some of it's not priced, so. No. So, I'll look. Some iron stone plates. I just picked up something like this yesterday. 80. That's a cool piece. 90, 85. Here's a French crock. No tail. <laughs> no tail. Yeah, on the hook board on the. Oh, that's cool. 95. Oh, it's pretty cool though. I like it. I get a yacht. Let's see what's on here. I'll just get closer to it when I see something, y'all. Or I'll just show you. Because <laughs> I can't stop looking. Oh, this is cool. Ash collector, I think is what it's called. Stone pieces. This is the Japanese 49. I bought one of these at auction yesterday, so 
1995 for the ghost one, so that's good to know what to price it. We all think that he needs the cat to is go cool. away. Oh, um, that's actually really cool. They put some paper behind it. Nice rustic blue mold. Haven. Yeah. Holy cow, that's a lot of blow molds. Lots of blow molds. That's cool. What you're calling, but. Do I need a big 7-Up Santa? Oh my gosh, so he would have been a store advertising. Oh, he is so cool. So cool. I don't know how much they have on him. Oh, I can't do 35. That's the same one I, I just sold for 28. And then this one is the 50. So. This is pretty cool. Cookie jar. Similar than the one we bought yesterday, but not with the fancy swirls. So they have 185 on yours. They have three of this guy, but two of mine have red sticks on. 50. Glass. I'll be newer, maybe. That's, that's cute. You can do littles in that piece. Oh. Little finials. $8 the pair. store upside down because it has those on it. Some kind of a mold. It's a cute little piece. Chicken. I don't know if it's a McCoy though or not. The number. We just sold him running horse yesterday. 125 on the rolling pin. Beautiful though. I like this one behind you, just because it's compact. Yeah, and it's got the two little And well with it, the vintage. Oh, it's Craftsman. Well, it's remade. I like these. This is the newer one. 24. Always funny. Oh, hey, I know those. I think I sold them for 38 though. The 20 is a little... Look at these guys. 150. And at 150 of those, those are beautiful. Beautiful. 27 on him. No, I have one already. He's 450. He's animated. This one that's newer is 38, 44. Oh. Hmm. Fish. How much is the washboard? Oh, that one's different because it has a 48. That one's not as old as my other, but I do like it. 
the 48. This one's painted. This one's 58. But I don't like the painting on the top. Stamps to try to reproduce the vintage ones. 65. It's really pretty, isn't it? In there. That's really pretty. Don't feel bad about my prices. Even though I went through them. So, what did Chris and I get at the Allen, not flea market, antique show? So, we were always told that, oh my gosh, you can get some great deals, some great finds up there. So, kind of have mixed reviews for first timers. Um, I felt as if it was more like the sign said, antique show. Uh, people said they were willing to deal, but when you look at the prices, you're like, well, I can't offer you half price. <laughs> That's a slap in the face. Or the stuff wasn't marked and I am not one. I this just how I am. Unless I see like multiple items, like I, you know, I'm like, okay, will you take this? Cause I have five items or whatever, but that's just not my jam. I don't want to insult people. You know, I know how it feels when somebody offers me half the price of something. Um, so there's that. So, and being almost a two hour drive for us and not to get a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, we got stuff. And so then we just kind of decided, you know, um, let's look for stuff that's unique and stuff that we hadn't seen before, um, that you're willing to pay up on because it's unique. And then it by chance, if we run into something that we see for resale, that's really cheap, <laughs> cheap, which that didn't happen a lot, or it was already gone. I don't know how that works. If there was like a buy-in the day before, or if there was an early opening for certain people. Um, I know some of those shows do stuff like that. Yeah. And then it was hot. Oh, the humidity, the heat came back. That's just how August, September in Michigan will be. The nights will be cool and cold and then it'll just get hot. So I don't necessarily know if we ended up getting through every single part of it. We might have missed one strip, but it was just, it, it, we didn't know that we should have done that, like what wasn't by the trees first, because then that would be straight into the sun and it was just too hot. Um, and then hit the shaded area, you know, newbies, you gotta be new sometime. Um, I don't know if we're in the area, maybe, or if we're really bored. I don't know if we'll necessarily go back to it, you know. Um, so there's that. Anyway, um, but we did get some goodies, and then we ended up, since, yeah, you know, we still had money left in our pocket, <laughs> in pocket we decided, since Chris was with me, we decided to stop at a antique mall, and it just happened the closest one nearby was Galesburg which I had just been at on Monday, but that was okay. He had not. And sometimes you never know. People are always stocking their antique booths, so there might have been some new treasures. <laughs> and and um, in, case you have, in case you haven't seen Tater in a while, here's Tater, who I don't know. Why do cats want to climb on your back? Come on. No. I, I don't understand why they want to do that. Can't they just cuddle? He he is a cat that when he wants to cuddle, he wants to cuddle. You can't just pick him up and hold him. No, there's not that. But he wants to be on your shoulder and then he wants to be held. Or then he wants to climb on your on your, <laughs> on your back. I, I love him, but ow, you know, he's got claws. So that doesn't feel too good. So anyway, okay, let me get into the little treasures that I did find. I did pick up an old Creole. Um, it is missing its, I think it's missing its wood piece that would have held it on, but it's a great decor piece. It's got beautiful patina age. And for $10, the last one I sold, I think it was $35. So there's resell there. And then one booth, I did spy this cute little Mexican pottery owl. Um, was it signed? I can't remember. But I do know, I do think it has some like little chippies on its feet, but because it st stands up, you don't really notice that. And it was three bucks. So, you know, it's like a $9 piece. 
One butter pat. I found one butter pat, though it has a little rose on it. It does have a little chip. Y'all know they're old, and when you collect chippy <laughs> stuff like I do, you don't really care. Yes, I decided to do the haul because I love my little spot, and I wanted you guys to all see, <laughs> see it. And I like my swan that way. That way his face, if I put him... If I put him the other way, his face would be covering my littles up and I want to be able to see my littles. So, you know, it's our home. So we just kind of all do what we want to do that makes us feel good. Tater's over on the table just investigating everything. I did find an English pottery crock. Um, I don't know if they're marmalade jars or not. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. So that was a great find. I probably won't stamp marmalade or anything like that on until I've sold my other one. So I'll try to sell that one as it because you can get about 22 for them. Do y'all know what the big O is? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> it is a hat form, which is very cool when it comes to old wooden pieces. This is a big old hat. Um, seven and five eighths is what it says. So it's got the, the number stamping. They retail from 35 to 55. So she gave it to me for 10 because I guess because I knew what it was. She said most people didn't know what it was. They just thought it was a big wooden O. So there's that. And at another boot, I could not, I think he sold these to me for three bucks or five bucks, something like that. Oh, eight bucks i was totally wrong but you know oh my gosh i usually you always see santa's boots in red i don't i can't tell you that i've seen them in black so i'm like oh these are just like cute you know because i decorate with black as an accent for christmas so i can keep them for myself or if i decide that i'm not going to put them into my christmas decor i can resell them or i can use them in a cute little vignette so i know i i don't think i videoed these because I thought she was just like they were just part of her shelf, but they're old little um, grocery tags, so 15 cents, and they're in blue. You don't see blue very often. I was trying to strike up, strike up a deal with her to buy up them all, but she had just got them, so she wasn't quite willing to. Um, I don't blame her. I get that. I totally get that. So what they do is they just slide into this one little piece, and then you could have put them on the store shelves. So I picked up five of them. So there you go. So if you all don't know, I do all my videoing on my phone. I think there are a lot of YouTubers that do that. But it's hard when like a message pops up and it's from my son and he's working and he works at the antique mall where um, our booths are. I kind of, I'm sorry that I probably kind of like, I was trying to read it and talk at the same time. I just recently purchased Worth Point because we've kind of been up in our game of some of the items that we have stumbled across and it's really hard. eBay doesn't show everything. Sometimes when they are rare, you can't find it on eBay. So our plan was to get the version where Chris and I would have it because we're usually always together and I'm the one who's usually listing stuff. And then Alex um, who is usually my helpful eye that can always research everything so well, um, would have it too. So I was doing like access, double access where I paid for both of us to be able to have it. So there, there's that. Oh my yes, gosh. He now just whittled his way or weaved his way into the bag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there's so many. I wonder, I don't think he's figured out that he's wrapped around the grocery sack yet. All he knows is there's smells and that he has to smell them. And he's going to freak out once he figures out that he's attached to this bag. <laughs> but, but yeah, he has not figured that out. Or has he? <laughs> he's knocking things over now. I'll let him I'll let him out before he hurts himself. Okay, let's not let's not hurt yourself there, Tater. So y'all, this is real life. <laughs> this is what you get. You get me, my cat during the day while Chris is at his full-time job. Well, probably still helping me as a full-time job, too. So he has a double full-time job, but yes. <laughs> oh, I, I love Tater to death. You know, Peach is older, and so he sleeps a lot during the day. And I've told you before that Tater has no desire to sleep. 
he needs to have things to do and investigating is one of his things to do. So one of the booths, I saw one of these signs and I've kind of always wanted one of them. I know that seems weird, isn't it? It is weird. Um, um, so it was 10 bucks and it's probably for myself. I'll figure out what to do with it, to add it into my decor somewhere. And I chose the five cents because it really reminds me of old timey. Um, so I thought it was neat and you can't, you could change it out if you wanted to for the seasons, you know, print out something else that would fit in there. So that's what I said. I was looking for things that were kind of odd and unique and reasonable for me to be able to buy and to add into my decor because, you know, I need more decor. So the same place that I bought the hat mold, I bought all these brass keys for $25 only because I'm not going to sell them all together. I'm going to, I would sell them like 10 to $15. I have to look them up for what they're selling for separately. So that way I could make my more money back. And then a lot of people could enjoy a single brass key, but it's super heavy. Very cool. I just recently, um, I don't know what these keys went to, if they're just decor, but I just recently picked up some old jail keys um, and they sold right away. So I thought, heck, why not? Those were a little bit more ex expensive because they were, um, they were $40 a piece because they were old jail keys. So you know how you grab and go because you're like, oh my gosh, that is such a great price. So here was this little syrup, Vaseline, shiny glows, and I did not realize it was cracked. I'm like, ah, poo. Um, <laughs> you know, um, so eighteen. it was $18. That's why it was $18. And of course, as a reseller, they didn't say, hey, do you know that's cracked? <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's not terrible and I, I bet you know it could be it actually could be an imperfection in the glass too if I could get my finger in there but I can't get my finger in there my, <laughs> my finger's not I was trying to see if it goes all the way through so it could be um like that it could be an imperfection of that way um so you have to point I, as a reseller of me, I'm sorry, as a reseller of me, I would point that defect out. I would be putting as is. I would show the crack on eBay. Or if my son wants it, I don't know if this is more antique looking. He, he, he him and his girlfriend are doing more mid century modern kind of vibe. So this may be more antique. -y. So I'll just try to sell it that way as is. I don't know what the value of an as is one is, though. So then I decided, um, since I knew I wasn't going to find a lot to resell, I love spooky season. I like the whimsical. I know it's not everybody's vibe, but I thought if I can find some littles like I do the little Christmas vignettes of Halloween, <laughs> um, I would go ahead and make some of those up. So I found this little $5 um, ceramic ghost. So like I said, I just, I don't look at it as a pagan holiday. I just look at it as fun, um, a reason to dress up, a reason to decorate. Uh, you know, it's just, to me, it's just whimsical. I don't, I don't look anything past that. Then for $6, I did pick up this finial, the same place that I got the, um, yeah, <laughs> the same place that I got the syrup container. Um, I would just cut this off flush so that you could just sit it and then it is good. That's all it needs. And I usually for a finial will get $15 once I cut that off and make it so you can just sit, sit it on the shelf. It's not perfect. It's got a chip out of it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful patina. So I, and I like that black line on it. So I did see resell there. Then somewhere is the shepherd's hook <laughs> that goes to this butterfly. Um, it's a rusty, crusty butterfly, and I, I picked it up for myself. Look, it has feet. It has cobwebs. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, look at it. It has little feet. So I was super excited about that. So, yeah, it has a little rusty, crusty shepherd hook that it goes with. And I, we're winding down to that season here, but I'd still stick it in and get a little bit of enjoyment out of it. Oh, I found the shepherd's hook. Four bucks is what I ended up paying for it. So really, I could even resell it. I could probably get $12 out of that easily. 
Now I was looking for another washboard to put up with my breadboards, my German breadboards. Um, not quite the version I wanted, but for $48, I was going to, I was going to take it. <laughs> I didn't want the painted one. I, I, I didn't want any painted pieces up there. And now this one has a handle. Um, so unfortunately the hard thing about that decor area is you got to climb back up on you got to bring a ladder in you got to climb back up on the ladder to get to the area to attach this there's that hmm. so not not one that i could um easily get to all the time to change out now whether my next one was a good score or not and i you know i don't edit my video until i get my ending done sometimes so i'm not sure if i even added this into the video, but there was this three set of mushroom casserole dishes. They don't have the lids though. So this, these would have had lids so you could stack them. They don't have the lids. I'm sure you can find the lids. I might look for them. My friend Diane that resells, she also is a huge Pyrex person. So she may have lids that I can buy off of her, but yes, $35 I gave and they're in great condition. I mean, you got Pyrex collectors and mushroom and mid-century modern collectors. Um, so, but yes, to make them the high price that they would be, they would need their lids. So I, th I felt like 35 because they weren't marked. And I'm like, I'm just going to ask because we were on our way out and it was just so hot. I'm like, how much for them? They're like 35. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you have to tell me twice. And it, I... I'm always so humbled when people recognize Chris and I from the channel that watch us, that give a shout out. I did meet a couple people that just like were quick high and buys. Um, didn't get an opportunity to ask them if they wanted to have a photo and be in the video or not. So there's that. <laughs> and then one person I was still trying to place that was kept talking to me and I'm like, what, uh, where do I know you from? And then after, you know, how that works after you're all said and done, it's the local thrift store in downtown Hillsdale. I'm like, I think she's the one in downtown Hillsdale. I'm like, like my brain couldn't process that. That's where I knew her from. You know, like when you're out of your element and you don't see the person all the time because it's not a place that I frequent all the time. Um, there's that. But anyway, when I stopped at Connie's booth and I'll insert her picture, it was so nice for her to like, <gasps> I love, I love hearing your stories and I love hearing like, you know, what you do and why you do it. And um, anyway, so the only thing I found that I felt like I could resell out of her booth was this beautiful duck decoy. I love the age. It was $30, but luckily um, these beautiful wooden ducks, nope, I don't paint them. I don't do anything. They don't have to be pristine. They People don't want them pristine. Um, I could take this, the, actually I could take the screw out and that would help somebody out. They don't really care if this is in here or not. It's all about letting it sit on their shelf. So I could probably get 65 for this. Um, it's not a fast seller. I'm not going to say it's a fast seller, but it's a beaut it's got beautiful age to it. So yes, it would be as is. And it was great. It was great meeting Connie. Two more people that I was able to meet were Jake and Penny. Thank you for taking time to give us a shout out and say hi. So now I think that was all <laughs> for getting that hat that we found at the Allen Antique Market. Antique Market. I'm not going to call it a flea market because it definitely was an antique market. And they had beautiful pieces and, you know, it's it's great to them to gather. And, um, and I love getting ideas. I love seeing how people stage things or inspirations in any way. So it's never a total loss. Never, ever. So then we stopped at Galesburg, which, you know, I love, but I didn't film because I had just been there and there really wasn't a lot of changes. And because I had filmed at the Antique Mall, I only had like 22 battery life left <laughs> and I needed to get a double charger for my car because Chris was using the charger. I didn't have an extra charger because he needed the directions from his phone and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but anyway, so let me share with you what we got at Galesburg. So for $5 each, there are these beautiful salvage wood pieces. I think they are awesome. Um, like bookends. I would not even change that. I would not fill that in. I can get $10 a piece for items like this and salvage. Not a lot of people have salvage where I am in the, the ball that I'm in. So 
And then it all depends on how you stage it too. I mean, I can just throw it in an old wire shopping basket, or I can stage it with some Bibles or some old books to show you what to do with it. You know, that kind of helps. I don't know how all you um, do your booths that have booths, but yeah. So $5 each, I, I, I felt like I could double my money and I love salvage pieces. Now, Chris spied this piece. I didn't even see this piece. <laughs> so it is a cast iron horse, but we're pretty sure that it goes to one of the farm sets. So if you are regular on my channel, you know, just in the last video, we showed the rusty, crusty farm set that's in Chris's bathroom. Maybe I'll remember to insert a picture. But this is just like the horse that was in there. I believe the original color of that farm should have been this color should have been black so over the years like the first set that i got of it um somebody had painted like a nasty yellow it just wasn't very pretty and then the set, set that chris got i got for chris um and i like that better because it has the true rust on it i repainted the other one um it has that nice rusty to it but it has a cream so i don't that wasn't the original color i'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that the black probably was the original color of that farm. So, cause Chris said, are you going to color this to match? And I'm like, no, I'm going to leave it as is. Cause somebody might need that horse to finish up their collection because that, if you can get all five animals and I do, I have collected all five animals. I just haven't had a chance to resell the other one that I traded out for it goes for like two, $5,300. I haven't checked it lately. It might be up. It might be down. But the last looking, it was about two fifty. dollars So there's that. Now y'all are going to laugh. I should have had Chris video, but our hands were full. Can you imagine that? We're in an antique mall and our hands were full and he needed to video this. Because you, can you guess? Can you all guess? Any guesses of what we found? at Burgess slowly 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 no <laughs> oh my gosh uh, yes it is the sheep planter now if this is the one from the dollar general which i don't know because then somebody spritzed it black because it definitely has more of a black patina. It definitely was used as a planter. It's missing this little piece. And it was $16. And I know y'all, I keep getting messages if I found any because people want to buy them. I've sold a couple, but they're hard. I have, I have stopped so many Dollar Generals looking for them. But remember, they were a spring item. Um, so I might pop this one up for sale on eBay. I'll probably pop this one, but it'll probably be $30. I can't give them away at 20 when I can't find them anymore. And I had, I paid 16 for this. So, um, I'll just double check the resale. So don't quote me on that if it's a little bit more, but yeah, I could not believe, see, there it is. We all know now we have now come to the point of the dollar general sheep that they are for sale at antique malls. Y'all want to find them at the thrift stores, don't you? I don't know if they're there yet. So talking about little Halloween vignettes, I didn't find too much at the, the flea market or antique show um, that was in my price range to be able to put together for you all. And do you all do that? So I bought two orange bottle brush trees to create with. They were $5 a piece. I have black ones somewhere in my house. Somewhere in my house, I have purchased black bottle brush trees. And do you think I can remember? I think, I don't, I'm hoping that I did not put them up with my Christmas totes on the top of our garage bathroom. There's a little storage there. So now we got to go dig in <laughs> when we have time. I, well, when I'm going to create them <laughs> to find the black bottle brush trees. I, and I was positive that I had them in my craft room, my office and nope, they weren't there. I'm like, oh man, do you do that? Do you like, you're like, I'm going to tuck these here because I'm no, I'm going to know when I, where they are when I go to look for them. Well, that was not my case, but look at, look how cute that already is together. I know it's not the exact orange, but still so cute. I can't wait to create with them.
And I, I did go back to the one booth that I had thrift regrets that I did not pick up her paper styrofoam pumpkins. I really liked the black one that I picked up. And that's what I would like to do. I'd like to white wa or black wash these as the same black because I think black is a neutral. Um, I kind of was on the fence about picking them all up because, you know, I wanted to see if the other, and if not, I will, I'll use them in my own decor. I don't care. I, 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 I thought I really liked those. So if they're there, the next time I go, I'll probably pick them up because we, I'll, I'll have to be up in that area <laughs> again soon. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I like the idea of um, black washing them like that other one that I got. So I am lo still looking for flower frogs. I bought all those watch faces. So some of you are I'll probably in need of these spiky ones. Uh, this one's a little bit, I was looking for small ones, but I think it was like six bucks. So I, I didn't pass it up. Bingo cards, postcards, recipe. I mean, they're great just decor pieces to do that. I kind of have some stacked. My, I decided to keep the green ones and kind of stack them in here to have a pop of green. And then my last three pieces uh, for a dollar, I picked up this little pumpkin. I think he probably would have been at the end of a stick. I remember those. A bag full of spiders for six bucks. Because you all know I've got a couple doll heads that I might create with them. I'm sorry for anyone that's going to creep out. And then in the one booth, I did pick up this because it was orange. And I know it's little and you can make something out of it for the season. Um, so that was it. Oh, no, I got one more piece. Sorry. Though uh, no, this was from the th this was from the market. Um, and I wouldn't do anything to this. Oh, my gosh, this would be an awesome backdrop. It was 15 I'm probably going to put it in my booth for four forty-five. I know that probably seems weird, but I mean, if you have a, a long space that you're trying to fill, fill up, you could do outdoors, you could do porch, um, you could do your, if you have a big open buffet or any open area, just a great backdrop. You know, salvage to me is just an interesting piece, an architectural piece. I'm always glad when people don't just burn them and throw them in the burn pile because, you know, you know, us pickers, that's our worst nightmare, somebody to burn stuff. So anyway, that's what we got. I'm glad that we, you know, had time to stop back at Galesburg. I did find some yummies. I When we did find some yummies there. So, you know, it wasn't a total loss by any means, but I don't know. I don't know if we'll go back or not because of the drive if I was ooh and eyeing, I'm, I'm sure y'all, if you've been there, just tell me if it was just one of those times that it just wasn't a good time. And normally it is a good time. You know, usually it is a good time. Let me know in the comments below. Um, cause I don't know. So one time I, I don't want to judge something off of just one time. So anyway, thank you so much for going along with us to the Allegan antique show and then staying to the end of the video to see what we picked up and what we found. And then also looked at a few little antique items that um, we got at Burgess Antique. So again, thanks for watching today's video. As always, if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you're new and you're checking out the channel for the first time and you liked what you saw, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know we uploaded a new video. And we will see you next time, guys. And you can see we're up to. Bye. Oh, I think... Maybe for right now, I could <laughs> five cent for swung nail, <laughs> hobnail vases. That's funny, right? But maybe, maybe, maybe just off to the side, you know, it's all about playing. I just really liked it. Just when you think I couldn't actually fit any more on this little shelf, I like the blue because it kind of goes with the blue on my eye ointment containers. So I like the way that that hangs.